Just because some people are minimalist doesn't mean everything they own has to be beige. Not everyone is the same, so all styles can be different between each person, and I consider myself a minimalist, but that doesn't mean I have to be boring. While some people might find beige everything, white everything, calming, I can see why they would find their atmosphere more calming if it had more warmth to it, if it, um, if it was more open, you know, you don't feel as overwhelmed. And that's one of the main reasons why I chose a life of minimalism, so that I can be less overwhelmed in my home, less crowded. So today I'm gonna share with you my home. I'm going to open my home and walk through the entire thing and share with you room to room. And at the end, I want you to tell me whether or not you think I'm still a minimalist. What is minimalism to you? Because there's no wrong answer. I just want to hear what people think when it comes to minimalism in the home. Okay, so starting with the entrance or door, and then you walk in and there is a closet right here. This is where I store our pretty much all of our storage. I want to say travel gear, but I store like presents and stuff like that, um, seasonal. So this is our storage. Um, this is Haunting's bag. We have the large suitcase, the two carry-ons, one for M, one for me. This is an accident. I ordered one bag from Amazon and accidentally got two for obvious reasons. I'm, I'm not, I mean, I'm just gonna keep it. Haunting's. We take her for walks. Um, both of our helmets for Em and me. We have bags inside of here for storage and travel. And this closet actually shares a washer dryer in the closet. We definitely needed that. We are minimalist, so we wash um, almost every day. I also use this closet to put my donation bags for my routinely downsizing. I urge you to go check out my video about minimal cleaning because all my cleaning supplies are in here and they go into great detail. Up here, I just put boxes for returning items and stuff. M scooter, I store right here. Definitely need one of these. Oil from cooking splashes way too often. And that is my longboard. I tried it, it's not for me. I'm selling it currently. And the good old fridge with our little gargoyle on top. I like myself a green dragon. And then we move on to the kitchen. So, sorry it's a little dirty. Toaster, obviously. Actually, I haven't owned a toaster since I was a child. I never felt like I needed one. And I didn't eat, have toast that often until recently. I'm all about kimchi toast. So, blender. This came with us um, back from Indonesia. Never felt like I needed a different one. Washer. This is where I keep some more cleaning supplies. I have the dish pods and then my recycling um, utensils. Dishes and stuff go in here, but they're all in the wash right now, so. Okay, so turning around. I have my mirror because, not just for looking at myself before I leave, but because I have the spin bike and exercise gear. I like to watch myself when I exercise and do Pilates. Uh, my great tea. Do you love my tea? Origami hearts. Em and I make these. And I like knit coasters. I will link everything I can find below. And I had to get those. I feel like I had to get those because these kind of tables, um, I'm not sure how durable they are, and plus we have a glass table, and I don't really trust M or myself with putting glass on glass or anything like that. So coming over here, this is our tech gear stuff, and I just recently um, enrolled M into homeschooling. The school sent us a whole bunch of school supplies, including a printer. They actually sent us a printer. I don't know what for, if it's homeschooling, I don't I don't know yet, um, but I'm yet, I have yet to find out. But it's cool, they send a printer, okay. So my pens 
and another dragon. This is where hunting eats. These are her toys. Okay, so moving on to the living room space. I have my wall decor. All wall decor we made ourselves or it's very personal to us, meaning it actually has a memory attached to it. The couch, if you've seen any of my videos, you've definitely seen this couch. And the glass table, my journal. I always need a journal. I start my day with one. Underneath her is actually where M stores all of his toys. If you notice, we don't have many toys, right? They all fit in there. Over on the other side, I do have two yoga mats because sometimes I force M to do yin yoga with me. I don't like the way that that looks, the Wi-Fi modem. However, I don't have anywhere else to put it. So I refuse to buy furniture just to cover that up. This is our fan. It actually helps us circulate the cold air from the AC unit that was on top of the mirror. And I will put it in the room and let it circulate cold air throughout the room, which saves me from having to buy another AC unit. This is a table that I am not allowed to alter. <laughs> it's M space, he puts all of his crafts here. And this is M's little robot, robots that he built. We call this one the dancing robot because he just goes in circles. I need light. I cannot live in a place that does not have the light. Absolutely not. So we needed a lot of light. Here we have our rolling door to separate the rooms. We love plants need some plants. Em actually made this for me when he was, I think like two years old, super cute. And then this we bought at an oddity store. It, it's a heart that grows. And yes, we co-sleep. I am not going to own something or have something that we do not use. He never played in his own bedrooms. He never slept in his own bedrooms. So now we have one room. And over here, we actually have family photos. This was, this is a circuit box. Um, I just covered it with removable wallpaper because it was ugly. And I think this makes it slightly better. So this isn't just a closet room. This is also Komodo's bedroom. So I have my side and he has his side. Now, this actually might look a little extra empty because we have laundry going. We usually keep about four um, pieces of clothing each person. I try to keep it down to three, but lately it's been four, so. His backpack is with him right now. Yeah, and so up here he has his school supplies, his box of his own gadgets that he likes to build or work with, um, hat, his stuffies. I only allow three stuffies for him in, in our home, not including Komodo. So technically Komodo is mine and so is the green dragon in the front, and that's how we work with that rule. And also his Crocs are on him right now too. And so that's my side. Both of our computers usually sit here. So I actually have one computer for him for his homeschool, and then I have my laptop as well. And I added this. Instead of having a light or a lamp, and I don't like the bright lights um, that most apartment complexes come with, so I added my own little lights, and they're color changing. And yes, we already are prepared for winter. So we have mine, M's, and hauntings. Now we're gonna go to the toilet bathroom, also known as the loo. <laughs> so before I turn on the light, I actually wanna show you something. M is scared of the dark, and so I have these automatic lights throughout the apartment. I have one in just about every room. I replaced the light with my own fixture to match the rest of the apartment's decor. So if you can see, I have matching towels. 
laundry basket, matching body towel. I don't use rugs. I only use uh, towels. They're easily cleaned and replaceable. I like black. In here we have a little bit of our washables, our toiletries, hygiene product, Em's little toy. And then here we have the toilet and Haunting's toilet. These are little eyeballs. I'm not sure if you caught them just laying around the whole apartment, but they always seem to end up in the bathroom. Soap dispenser this way. Back to the mirror is a little dirty. <laughs> this is my lounge fit. What are your thoughts? Do you think I am a minimalist? 